G'day everyone and bonjour de Magog, which is hello from Magog in Canada. Uh, some of you might know I've travelled over to Canada for two races, a World Cup and a World Series race. The first one was the World Cup, which was here in Magog. Now I left Tuesday, this is like I got here seriously jet lagged. It was like 35 plus hours of traveling and I only got here two days before the race. So I knew that jet lag was going to have an impact on my race. I also knew that I had uh, some competition from the US who is currently a faster runner than me. And going into the race in Magog, I needed to get a decent lead out of the swim and then hold him off for the rest of the race. So I happened to have a really put together a really good swim. It was a little bit choppy, which is always works in my favor. I got a three minute lead on the swim, which was much bigger than I was expecting. And then he only caught up a minute through the race and I was able to take out the top spot at the World Cup here in Magog, which was awesome because I've had um, some really tough races recently and it was just so rewarding to know that the work's paying off and to be sitting on the top spot at an international race again. Now, moving forward from here, we stay here for another two weeks training in Magog and let me just give you an idea of what Magog has. This is pretty much it. It's, um, look, it's beautiful. You can see it's beautiful and green. There is literally nothing to do here other than train, recover, eat and sleep, which, you know, I enjoy doing. So that's what we do here for the next week to acclimatize from jet lag, which is exciting because I've never been in a place so long before the race where I can actually really recover from jet lag get into some nice consistent training and then get ready for the race so excited to see how that will translate into the race in Edmonton I've got some really tough competition in Edmonton and um, I'm hoping that being able to prepare pop properly and get over jet lag will make a massive difference come race day. Uh, one of the things that's unique about Edmonton, the race, is that there's a hill you have to go up four or five times. Uh, I'll make sure that I get that number right before race day, so I'm not gonna have a repeat of what happened in Japan. Also, on that note, unfortunately, no, Stefan wasn't at this race, so I wasn't able to take him down and get my revenge on Stefan. Hopefully, though, he'll be at Edmonton, so that I can uh, race my arch nemesis and finally defeat him. I'd just like to take this moment to personally thank you guys for joining Club 100. I'm not sure if you truly understand how important you are to my journey to Tokyo 2020. In fact, the three weeks that I have to spend here in Canada for doing the two races, I wouldn't be able to do it if it wasn't for you guys. I wouldn't be able to spend three weeks away from home without working. I also have the World Champs in September where I spend three weeks in the Gold Coast. Again, if it wasn't for the support from you guys and wanting to partner with me to Tokyo, I wouldn't be able to spend that amount of time away from home. So just wanted to say a massive thank you from the bottom of my heart and I'm really excited to see what we can do with Club 100 and make it into a community where everyone is just pumped to be a part of. I'll keep you guys updated and I'll check in soon. Thanks guys.